Hello guys, how are we? Welcome to Mauritius. It is beautiful here. I'm gonna take you through a quick walkthrough of the resort. Let's go. So on the right here, we have the beautiful sea, as you can see, really, really stunning. Um, turning around behind me, you've got the pool area, which is absolutely stunning. Um, really relaxing, tropical, it's a vibe. Um, and then we've got the beautiful little bar at the bottom here, which is lovely because at nighttime, it offers some evening entertainment um, where we will record that tonight to show you a little bit what it's like, but very vibey, trendy sitting down here. It's a vibe. You've got the other little restaurant over here where you've got some yummy food if you're feeling hungry. But we are staying at the Radisson Blue and we are enjoying it so far. Tonight we move to a new room. Um, we are moving from the back side over there um, to the front side of the beach because <laughs> would you expect anything less from your girl? They put us in a room back then I said, oh, hell no. So we'll be moving to the front, which is really exciting. But yeah, I'm excited to um, share some footage with you guys here. And um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. It's a bit windy today, but honestly, the wind is actually incredible because without the wind, you would die. It would be really, really hot. It's cool to have this whole setup with me um, and get to vlog my experience while I'm here. We are here with the mom of the so sorry oops we're in the way here hello ma'am how are you today <laughs> are you <I'm> well <laughs> yes <laughs> how are you enjoying yourself here in mauritius I'm loving mauritius lady lady my name is natalie <laughs> Welcome back. I am now going to show you guys our room, which is so exciting. Let's go check it out. Follow me. All right, so as you're entering, you've got the bathroom here on the left. Just a basic bathroom, you know, where you go cut yourself, you go shower, you do all your things that you got to do. Yep. Um, Gareth has unpacked his stuff, why I don't know, but he has, and uh, that's a little uh, cupboard for you. Come on. Then you've got the room. Obviously, it's a mess we've unpacked, so um, excuse me, but make yourself at home. Um, you've got, obviously, your little stuff of like the kettle, some water, coffee machine. Um, they do make you pay extra for the pods, in case you were wondering. Yeah, if you want to have coffee, you must bring your own pods. Just that's a that's a tip for you. Um, you've got all my stuff unpacked. Here. I've got my beach bag. Got all my stuff charging. All the stuff for the trip. Then you've got our lovely bed. So I'm not sure why they made the bed this high up. It's quite strange. You can like, it's like falling off. But um, it's it's different. It's quite lovely. Um, it's quite the elevated experience. Some might say. All right, coming following through to the view. I'm not sure what they were thinking here with um, the room, but there's just nothing. Yeah, it, it's quite it's quite empty here. I'm not sure why. I think it's for a picnic blanket. You can put the picnic blanket down and have a picnic. Um, but yes, follow me through to the. Why? Why is it going off? <laughs> what happened? Oh God. Okay, when are we still going? So follow me through. This is our lovely view. Now this is what dreams are made of. Come and have a look at this beautiful view starting from the left side, waking up to this lovely sound of the ocean. I'm not sure if you can hear it because my mic cuts out the sound, but absolutely tranquil, some might say. But yeah, just giving that really lovely island vibe. You've got the palm trees flowing, the gorgeous sea, and that is the room to our ladies and gentlemen. Okay, good morning. So we have decided today that we want to take the bicycles. Um, it's a little bit windy today, so you know, you kind of get over just lying by the pool the whole time. So we're going to take the bicycles and actually ride to the other resort. Um, you will see footage of that resort. I did take some there. We're going to go meet my mom and my sister there. I think it's about a four kilometer ride. Um, we will try maybe record while we're riding. I don't know how that's going to work because I've got my bag still to take over there. Um, and then this is our cool bikes over here. Um, but yeah, all right, so we've started riding. It's kind of scary because the road is a bit tight. <laughs> Good luck to us. 
Okay, we made it to the other resort. It was quite scary riding a car like because the road is really small. But um, we're gonna go meet up with my sister and my mom now at this resort and maybe have a swim. But that was scary. We could not pull out like anything to record, but adventure, whatever. Today we are visiting the other Radisson Blue. So this is the resort down the road from us. We've got the pool area on this side. Um, we thought, well, why not go check out the other resort? And um, basically, this is the beach area down here. So this is the more family-friendly uh, resort where there's kiddies. Um, so the other resort we're staying at is purely adults only. This one is for kids. Um, you have a really nice, great big section over here where the kids can come and play, hang out. It is quite a season now because we are here during the winter time. Um, but yeah, we've had a lovely time here today. We have made some friends. I'm gonna go take you to them shortly so we can interview them and let you guys know how they're enjoying their stay here in Mauritius. But we're gonna have a little quick look at the beach here. Um, excuse the wind, if you know anything about Mauritius, um, it's a windy island and um, basically we are not on the right side of the island. The right side would be on the, is it the east, sir? Uh, it could be the west. No, the we no isn't oh, it the is east? It oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's called Flick and Flack um, Sugar Beach. Uh, and apparently that is where it's like less windy. Um, I'm hoping the mic doesn't pick up this wind because you guys will be getting a real big shock. But really gorgeous beach down here as well. Um, as you can see, it's a bit choppy. Um, but yeah, stunning beach uh, as well. A lot of uh, activities you can do here with the boats and kayaking. Um, a big, really large tanning area on the left here, which is really, really nice. Um, but yeah, beautiful, like a really beautiful, very tropical, very paradise. And uh, we pretty much have the whole freaking beach to ourselves, which is amazing. Here at the lovely resort, and we've made a lovely friend here, Julia, who's Hi. from the UK. I'm gonna ask her how she's enjoying her experience in Mauritius. How are you enjoying yourself here? Lovely, very tropical, hotel has been great. And where in the UK are you traveling from? London. Okay, and how long did it take you to get here? Many hours. Many hours? Many hours, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you could say one thing of this whole trip that's been your favorite, what has it been? The people. The people? Definitely the people. Yeah. Been lots of people from South Africa. Okay. Different parts of the UK. Mm -hmm. Been absolutely fantastic. Okay. And the best thing you've eaten here? <gasps> oh, chicken. That's a tough one. Mm -hmm. what, what shall we say? Mm, chicken mm -hmm. curry. Mm -hmm. Has that been the best one? Butter chicken. Your favorite? Yeah. yeah. Favorite so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. what is your go to drink while you've been here in Mauritius? <laughs> Passion fruit mojito. Passion fruit mojito. Definitely. Okay. Sounds yeah, good. Nice and fruity. Amazing. Well, thank you for being here today to answer some of my questions on my vlog. This is a new style that I'm doing. So it's been a lot of fun getting to know people from around the island and how their holidays been. Um, and we hope you have a great rest of your trip. And thank you for being on my vlog. No problem. Thank you. we back today with the mother of the interviewer, which is me, mm -hmm. in case you didn't know. How are you enjoying your day today, ma'am? Oh, I'm loving my day, ma'am. Even though you are being blown away, are you still having a lovely time? Mm, lovely time, my darling. If there was one thing that you could say was your favorite thing today, what would it have been? The water. I actually swam. You swam in or you swam? I swam in the pool and in the sea. That's great. Yeah. That was your favorite part? Yeah. All right. Here you have it from the mom <laughs> of the interviewer. The Mauritius going so far. It's been amazing. Amazing. Yes. It's been tell fantastic. Me, tell me why. Um, well, we can't hear you, so <laughs> would you like the mic, sir? Oops, sorry. On my boobs, sir. A little bit high. Yeah, beautiful. We're getting the best part. Or what? <laughs> Excuse me. Cut. Yeah, All right, so, so I'm being me, interviewed. Tell mm -hmm. me, what's, what's your favorite part about Mauritius so far? Um, okay, so I have traveled extensively, which is, is a blessing. Like, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself, like, traveling around the world. Am I cut off there? Yeah, my, sorry, yeah, angles, yeah, you know, yeah. angles. Um, so I have traveled extensively, and I've thoroughly enjoyed traveling. Love it. I think it's amazing. Um, I was, the first time I came to Mauritius, actually, I was in my mom's belly. And um, so this is actually my first time as an adult here. I am thoroughly enjoying it. I love the tropics. I love a tropical island. Um, I've had a really great time. 
time. I think now that I know a bit more about the island, I would probably stay on the less windier side. Um, the wind is lovely, don't get me wrong, this is their winter and it does really cool you down um, because the sun is hot, like even in the winter. Uh, so the wind has been a blessing, but a bit of a curse at the same time. But I've enjoyed it, none to say the least. The food has been divine. You know what my favorite part is? Tell me what your favorite part is. My favorite part has literally been the bacon. <laughs> and you know why? Because every place I go to, like resorts and stuff, the bacon is like rock hard crispy and it's nasty. This is like soft bacon. Like you know how bacon is just like undercooked for some, how they might say? I don't like like crispy bacon. You can argue in the comments, but like soft bacon. Mm. Okay, we're back and here we are with my sister today and she's going to tell us why she loves Mauritius so much because this is her third time. Yes. Yes. So it's definitely the fact that it's a three and a half hour flight from home and I love the people and the actual like tropical paradise. <laughs> okay, and if you were to pick one thing about Mauritius that's your favorite, what would it be? Just the fact that there's an ocean and, you know, if you look out, it's a holiday sort of feeling from the get-go. I live in Johannesburg, so it's a concrete jungle. <laughs> so this is a great change. And the best thing you've eaten on this trip? Sure, it's hard. I'd say, I'm sure you agree with me, that Italian buffet we had on the first night. That was really cool. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. And also, um, what is something that happened in your life that happened in Mauritius? Why is it so special to you? I got engaged to my fiance. Okay, engagement. She's gonna have a wedding soon for her sister. Um, exciting. <laughs> yes, last year December. And if there was one tip you would let people know that were thinking about visiting Mauritius, what would it be to bring with, or a tip they should know beforehand, or something like that? So this um, time of the year is winter, and even though it's still very it's hot. July. Yeah. June, sorry. Yeah, June, July. It's still very hot, um, but I'd recommend come in the summertime when it's a bit less windy and you experience more of the summer sun. And yeah, I think it's also a bit more of a vibe. Okay, we have the cameraman here um, and he's going to give us his uh, experience of what it's like to be a cameraman in Mauritius. Okay, well, yeah, this is actually the first time I've been to Mauritius. Actually, first time I've been overseas ever, <laughs> actually which is pretty cool. So yeah, this is my first um, kind of experience outside of the borders of South Africa. And um, yeah, it's been amazing. It's been so nice to get away from the hustle and bustle of Johannesburg um, to experience the beach and the hot weather again, because it's quite cold back in Joburg at the moment. So yeah, just such a nice break to get away from work and uh, just relax myself. So yeah, it's been an awesome experience so far. And now tell me, what is one thing you need in order to travel to another country when you, you leave? You need a passport. Yes. <laughs> and um, which incredible person helped you get a passport? Um, this incredible human being named Gareth. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cut. And um, tell me one thing so far about the trip that you have enjoyed the most. There's been multiple things that have been amazing. So... Uh, can't yes. complain, can't complain. No, 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 you haven't mentioned anything. What do you want to say? You can't say many things. There must be something you've been like, wow, this has been great here. Really enjoyed it. Food, the, the water, the scenery. The weather's been amazing. Wow, well, you're getting blown away. No, I'm pretty much getting blown okay. away. Okay. But you know what? The awesome. Heat, the, 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 I think basically. she did have a pina colada earlier on, which <laughs> might have affected her judgment no, um, a little bit. So He's mm. just talking And rubbish. she did say it was a bit strong for her as well. So the, the, weather, no, the weather has been lovely. The wind's a bit annoying. But I think he's just so overwhelmed with the presence of being on the camera. True, true. So I'm going to take it from here. I am. Yes. Um, sorry, ma'am. Are you enjoying the interview there? or <laughs> You seem to be quite bored. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be back. So a cool thing about Mauritius is that usually at the afternoon, they have some pancakes. Mmm, Boracuac calls for pancakes. You've got all the topping. It's about me is I actually don't enjoy anything on my pancake. I'm weird like that. I love a pancake with literally nothing on it. Mmm. Perfect. You literally don't need anything on it. It's sweet. The batter is sweet enough. Mm. It's warm. Magnifique.
we are now heading back to our resort and we're saying goodbye to this resort. All right, and we're back. We're back at our hotel. Let's go see what the vibes are like here. So yeah, pretty cool what they took us. We are now back at the adult only vibe. Yeah, it's definitely, you can tell, it, it gives more adult vibes here for sure. Pools vibing, it's a bit windy, but looking stunning. Let's go check out the beach. So pretty. Give it, give it, give it. So nice, that's a seating area, which is really lovely. Over there on the left. It's a vibe at night time. Look how beautiful those hotel is at the back. Take a little view of that. Photo shoot going on here on the bridge. Let's go, girl. Stunning, absolutely beautiful. My favorite things on the um, resort, it's this swing and you have the most spectacular view while you're swinging. It's just so beautiful, especially during sunset. You just sit here and swing. It's super, super peaceful. And yeah, it's just absolutely relaxing. Play some dark. Oh. Who's winning? Me. Me. Who's winning? Yeah. Are you losing? I've just started. You're going to go together. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a mess. A little tooth. A little crack. <laughs> a bit of a close up. Thank <laughs> you. 